Hey Aquarius, so as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for all Aquarian placements, okay? So Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node, it really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as an Aquarius, then this reading is for you, all right? Aquarius, what it do, boo? What it do? I hope that you guys are doing well this morning. I am doing really, really well this morning, y'all. Um, <laughs> and in the event that you are not doing well, I pray that some of this energy can uh, come on and rub off on you. You get what I'm saying? That we can transmute those negative energies of yours into positive ones on this morning. All right. Let us go ahead and see what the messages are for our Aquarian. Shout out to my auntie. Love you, love you. Miss you, miss you. Hope all is well with you, darling. All right. Let's see for our Aquarians. Love my auntie so much. I miss her. Let me see. For the Aquarians, what are the messages? All right. Thank you, Spirit. What are the messages? For Aquarian, please keep in mind, guys, these are general. Not every message is going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay, I am a psychic tarot reader, which means that I really don't need the cards, I use them for you guys for imagery. You get what I'm saying for fun, but I can get on here and just start talking. So, <laughs> but keep in mind, once again, it's not a personal, so not everything is going to resonate with everybody. All right. We have raise your vibration, okay? So, yeah. Um, less TV, you get what I'm saying? Or if you are going to watch TV, watch programs that are teaching you something, that you're learning something from. You get what I'm saying? Because knowledge literally raises your vibration. I don't know if people tell you that, but it does. Um, and I know you guys get tired of hearing me talk about knowledge and this and that all the time, but... I'm ruled by Mercury. Mercury is the planet of intelligence. So you're going to hear me talk about knowledge and learning stuff all the time. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, raise your vibration. Okay. You can also go on walks. Okay. Um, take a lot of showers. Okay. I know we already bathe like two to three times a day. I about to say three times for myself. I know we already bathe two to three times a day. Um, however, you get what I'm saying? You can bathe a little bit more if you feel like it's something that helps you because I know, um, Cleansing baths really, really, really helps me, okay? Um, baths in general, I like baths. Um, showers too. I just like to be clean, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, so um, yeah, you can go outside. Like I said, you can surround yourself with some plants. Maybe try being a plant parent. You get what I'm saying? Um, just do different things that you enjoy. I see begin to explore, so get familiar with your surrounding area. All right, a lot of you um, are in a new place, all right? Never been there before, get familiar, go around, meet people, you know, get a new routine or some new activities in your life, okay? We have forgive and forget, all right? So there are some things that you might be holding on to, like grudges that are weighing you down here with this raise your vibration, okay? Somebody wasn't able to do something for you the way you wanted them to or in the time frame you wanted them to do it, you're upset about it, you know, now you, you walking around, low and you can't get certain things that you want because your energy is low and it's just like it's keeping you in an even funkier place you get what i'm saying so whoever or whatever you have to remember guys that in this crazy ass world that we're in right here this one right here on earth right here this beautiful planet that we are on but people have corrupted and made crazy is uh everybody is going through something everybody is trying to keep their head above water you understand what i'm saying any event that your head is above water and you are out this motherfucker floating or similar to jesus walking on water then cool you get what i'm saying but the majority of the people are really out here trying to hold their head above water y'all so for somebody not to be there for you when you wanted them to be or how you wanted them to be and then you get upset eh, we might have to get over that you get what i'm saying you might have to get over that so yeah, we have reassess. Yeah, we might have to get over that because everybody has something going on. You have to make a plan. Everybody has something going on. And don't let it be people in their 20s through 40s with young kids. You get what I'm saying? That their kids have stuff going on, activities and this and that. And whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, people can't always stop what they're doing to just be there for you, right? And if it's vice versa, then flip it. But I'm reading it the way that it comes through, okay? We also have address your addictions here. So that could be anything like drinking, smoking, drugging, clubbing, fucking 
talking anything y'all shopping cooking you get what i'm saying but whatever your addictions are that are preventing you from living your soul you get what i'm saying meaning doing the things that feel good to you that feel pure to you being around your family being around your friends your loved ones because you're walking around holding a grudge you get what i'm saying because somebody says something to you that you really need to hear like some constructive criticism that's what i'm hearing right now we have look forward all right, so somebody gave you some constructive criticism. They might have told you a thing or two about yourself. You didn't like it. You get what I'm saying? Now, once again, this is not going to be for everybody. So don't come for me. Come for yourself. And if you know that you're on the opposite end, then put yourself on the opposite end. We have embrace your power, okay? So, yeah, understand how powerful you truly are. You are Aquarius, all right? This is the age of you, all right? <laughs> this is your era. This is your time, baby. So shine, okay? <clears throat> embrace your power understand who you are understand that with raising your vibration first of all you don't forgive other people for them i need you guys to really understand that if you're a sweetheart like me you may want to forgive people for the sake of them but it's really not you get what i'm saying you're forgiving people for the sake of you hunty you forgive people so that you can be lighter so that you not walking around feeling all fucking crazy all right like i teach this stuff i've been teaching you guys this stuff for years anybody that's new hello 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 I don't just read cards. It's not just for YouTube. It's not just for entertainment. I do this 24-7, 365 year round, okay? <clears throat> Eat, live, breathe what I'm doing. This is me, all right? So healing, energy, all that, this is me. I've been telling you guys, I said, certain things start off as energy. Everything starts off as energy first. You get what I'm saying? And then it comes into your body. You get what I'm saying? As stress. And then it eventually turns into some sort of ailment, sickness, disease. You get what I'm saying? So get rid of it. <clears throat> get rid of it. Okay. You're holding on to it for what? I feel like a lot of you probably have sicknesses and things like that that you're dealing with because you are holding on to grudges. Okay. So we have be open to love. Yeah. People just want to love you. That's it. People want to love you. They care about you. They care about your well-being. They care about what you have going on, what you're going through, different things like that. All right. So just be open to the love that people have for you. It might not be what you want to do, but it might be what's best for you. You understand? Underlying energy is focused on success. Focus on success. All right. Not on what can go wrong. What's underneath that? Yeah. Change tracks. Not on what can go wrong. Not on what you think won't work. Focus on what absolutely will work out and what is going to go in your favor. That's what you need to be focused on. Okay. We have the page of wands. Be really, really excited. Get excited for this change. Your life is about to shift drastically if you want it to. All you have to do is let go of energies that no longer serve you, such as those grudges that you've been holding on to since 1988. Now, that's a random ass number, but I'm throwing it out there for somebody. You holding on to grudges since 1988 and you wonder why you sick. You get what I'm saying? Or you holding on to grudges since 1988 you wonder why you can't manifest. Come on now. It's 20, what is it? 2023? And you holding on to something since 1988? Are you freaking kidding me right now? <clears throat> no, you gots to be kidding me right now, right? Because that's what I'm getting. Somebody kidding me. That's a long ass time, y'all. That's longer than I've been fucking alive, y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that is ridiculous if you ask me. But shit, it's like you just walk around holding on to it. Like, mm-mm, come on now. Because at this point, it's affecting you. What is it doing to the other person? They living their life. They done forgot about it. They doing this. They doing that. They don't give a damn. You get what I'm saying? You walk around feeling some type of way for what? What is that doing to you? How is that helpful to you? right so let us see here for our aquarians what are the messages Oop. all right so we have the two of pentacles also keep in mind guys when it's not your reading you don't have to tell me it's not your reading if it's not your reading then it's just not right we have the two of pentacles <laughs> the two of pentacles is um about keeping things balanced okay i also feel like this is about you know putting everything back in its place right now you might feel a little bit distorted or you might feel like things are a little bit dysfunctional all right, we have the four of pentacles. So you need to embody a lot of the Capricorn energy right now. Capricorns are secure. Capricorns are stable. Capricorns are focused on, you know, building themselves up. Ten of pentacles. So they take the necessary steps, yes, to get there. Ten of pentacles is Virgo energy, but... <clears throat> It's like Capricorns actually have a lot in common with Virgos because they utilize that painstaking, painstaking energy, which basically means they're dedicated, like overly committed, you know, whatever to what it is that they're doing. Um, 
so much so as to where they know they're going to get to their Ten of Pentacles. You get what I'm saying? One of the problems that some of you might have, I'm just going to keep it funky fresh with the Four of Pentacles being right here, is saving to get to the Ten of Pentacles. You get what I'm saying? You could have been had the Ten of Pentacles a long time ago. However, it's like because you have addictions or because you get what I'm saying? And that's just what I'm going off of what I saw. Now, once again, addictions can be drugs. Addictions can be uh, shopping. Addictions can be anything. You get what I'm saying? So don't just look at it and be like, oh, I don't be shooting up. It's, it's not always about shooting up. You get what I'm saying? Addictions can be anything. Shit, I'm addicted to work, honey. All right? I'm addicted to money, honey. So, okay, we all have some sort of addiction. So let us see what we have here. We have the tower. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is like spirits been saying, hey, let's make some sort of shift. Let's make some sort of some sort of change. And you're like, all right, I got you in due time. Spirits like, no, we don't have no time. So I feel like somebody's about to go through a tower moment. There's about to be a lot of shifts, a lot of changes. We saw change tracks. You might be seeing five 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 a lot. You get what I'm saying? You might be seeing five 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 a lot. Okay. Um, nine 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 two you get what i'm saying you're whatever time you're seeing is for a reason like things are shifting things are changing and for some of you you're thinking oh well these things are shifting and changing for the worse no they're not they're shifting and changing for the better i can promise you that you get what i'm saying we got the knight of pentacles yeah so this is about getting a plan together a very detailed analytical plan that by the time you're finished you're going to be nice and stable nice and secure this is a home life this is a healthy environment for some of you if you have a relationship this is a stable loving relationship be open to love you get what i'm saying 11 11 twin flame energies so we might have twin flames that i'm talking to you're more than welcome to join me for the twin flame readings but what i'm seeing and what i'm getting at here is like you think yeah this is a past life connection for sure and then the empress here absolutely okay so we have twins that are coming together getting chills all over my body congratulations it's happening left and right for all the people that follow me a lot of twins are coming together um asap okay but moving forward <clears throat> So what I'm getting here, right, is that you're afraid because these shifts and changes are happening and this and that. Let me tell you something. These shifts and changes bring forth exactly the life that you've been wanting. The life you've been wanting this entire time. Yeah, that's what's taking place right now. I'm getting chills. I literally have chills all over my scalp down to my toes, y'all. So somebody's life, I can't make this up. Somebody's life is about to shift permanently. You're never, ever going to struggle again. You're never going to be broke again. You never, like the past is the past, five of cups, leave it there. The past is the past. Yeah, you've been through a lot, nine of wands. Life has tore you up. Life has tore your ass up, ain't it? You get what I'm saying? Like, we could be open and raw here. We could be real, but six of swords, you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving past that Aquarian energy, lover's card. Somebody here is coming into union with their divine counterpart. I don't know what the hell. I think maybe the divine feminine and masculine within yourself has come together. Once that happens, then you and your counterpart can come together in the physical. You get what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. I really do feel like things are finally smoothing out. You know what I'm saying? After some of you are possibly moving too, moving away, moving far away. You get what I'm saying? What you feel like is far away from where you're usually at. See here, this person's background is the city, but they have the four pinnacles. My thing is some of you could have been staying put in one place for so long. And little do you know that that's why your blessings have been the way they've been. Not, now, I'm not here to say that I'm God because I'm definitely not. But I'm telling you that the reason God has only been giving you this four of pinnacles instead of that ten of pinnacles is because you did not want to leave this environment. And this environment was toxic for you. That's what I'm getting. Now that you've moved away or now that you're moving away, six of swords, you're going to go on to healthier things, better things. You're going to get that ten of pinnacles. You get what I'm saying? And you're going to be like, wow, I, I should have did this shit a long time ago. We have the king of wands here. All right. So <clears throat> we have the two of wands in reverse. There's a decision that needs to be made or I feel like you've already made the decision. All right. Your mind's already made up. You might not want to believe right now that your mind is made up, but it is. We have a queen of wands here. So there's a pair. Okay. Some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn. All right. Some of you could be Aquarius other placements, okay? Not Aquarius sun. Throwing that out there. But, um, yeah, some of you definitely dealing with Capricorn. Because we have Capricorn on the board. We got Scorpio. We have Aries, okay? 
So this could be somebody with all of those placements. All right, but let me see here. What's going on with this five of cups? This is us leaving something in the past. Okay, I also feel like somebody from the past is coming back. Capricorn has similar cards. We got the Ace of Swords. We had the Five of Swords. Somebody wants to speak their truth, and when they do, it's curtains for whoever, whoever you with or whoever you around. One or the other, yeah, eight of wands. When somebody speaks their truth, it's curtains for whoever you with or whoever you around. You and this person are about to be together. All right, so I know that took many twists and turns, but that's one of the things that I picked up from your reading. I also want to see what's up with this tower because this is what's on the way to you. And I'm not going to leave you hanging with no tower. So let us see. What's this for our Aquarians? Just a few more days left in that sale, guys. Y'all know me. My prices are going right back to where they're supposed to be at the day of. If I say it's over on the 31st, it is over on the 31st. I'm not playing. <laughs> so get it while it's hot. This is my thank you to you guys for all of your support, okay, with the channel. That's the reason I'm doing the sale or the special for the month of May, all right? But we all got to live out here, so these prices going right back to where the hell they was at, okay? Thank you. So let us see. The Tower card. What is this? Tower card for our Aquarians. What is this for, please? What is this tower card? Spirit said it's a lot, and I don't know what Spirit want me to know. Y'all see how how much these cards are shuffling? Like Spirit said, all right, so we got the Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Wow, see what I'm saying? This is what's changing. Somebody's been blocking somebody out due to fear, and that person is coming in. They are the tower. This King of Wands is the tower. That's what I'm getting because here we go. Yeah, we got the Six of Wands, the Empress. Somebody is coming back to get their Empress. Somebody is coming back to get their Empress. They walked away from you. They sabotaged the connection at some point in time. Once again, could be a Capricorn. And now they're coming back because you're their empress. I mean, why wouldn't they? All right. So I hope that this helps you. If this, uh, this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Couldn't get the words out. <laughs> and if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. But yeah, why, why wouldn't they? Whole empress. Peace and heaven.